Today, let's create the coin clicker game together. First, let's remove the cat. Upload the image for the coin. Go to costumes. Now it has one costume. When the coin turns, it uses different costumes. So let's duplicate this costume and make it narrower. We will continue to do this until we have seven costumes. So number four costume is the one that is facing this direction. Next, we're going to make sure all the costumes are centered. That's the first sprite. Second sprite is the plus one. Every time you click the coin, the plus one goes up. So we'll draw this sprite. And our last sprite is a gift. Let's put some words below so players know how to use this. These are all the costumes we are going to use in this game. Now let's start coding. You can see the coin is a bit big. Let's change its size to 50. And I want it to be minus 100 and 0. So when green flag clicked, I will go to minus 100 and 0. We need a score to keep track. So go to variables, make a variable called score. When the game starts, I'm going to set score to zero. Now go to events. When this sprite click, it needs to broadcast a message so we can have the plus one and the gift. So we're going to broadcast, collect. I'm going to change our score by one. We want to play a sound. And search that some sound got clicked. Okay, so let's play this sound. And the coin needs to change costumes. We have seven costumes. So let's go to control, repeat seven times. Every time I'm going to wait for 0 0.01 second, then I'll show the next costume. Okay, let's try. Let's look at plus one. When green flag clicked, I want the plus one to be on top of the coin. So it will be minus 100. Uh, let's move it up a bit, maybe 50, right here. Okay. So when green flag clicked, I'll go to minus 150 and I'll hide myself. When I receive the coin is collected message, I will appear. I will suddenly go up and then I'll fade. So let's do this over 10 times. I will change Y by 5. So I'm going up. I need to slowly disappear. So I'll change ghost effect by 10. So over 10 times, I will totally disappear. But it doesn't appear again. So it needs to appear again at the original place. So after I disappear, I'll go back to my original place minus 150. And the next time when the coin is clicked, I need to show myself. So I need to set back my ghost effect to zero. Okay, let's try. So it will appear again. Okay, so the next thing is the gift. The gift should be disabled until the user reach score 10. So when green flag clicked, I'll do a forever loop. If score is less than 10, then I will show myself as disabled. So I'll set my ghost effect to be 50. Once the player reach a score of 10, I will appear. So I will set my ghost effect to zero. So let's try. So it's disabled. Until I reach 10, it's enabled. Now the user can click this gift to use it. After that, it can't use it anymore. So when this sprite clicked, I need another variable to keep track whether the user has used the bonus. So I'll go to variables, make a variable bonus used. When I'm clicked, it's used. So I'm going to set bonus used to be one, that means I'm already used. 
Okay, so similarly, when green flag clicked, we need to set it to zero. When the gift is clicked, I'm going to set the bonus used to one is used. Then it can't be used again. So I will going to set its ghost effect to 50. And remember, I need to keep on give one point every second. So I'll have a forever loop. Change score by one. Then I'll wait for one second to repeat this. Once the bonus is used, we need to show it as disabled. So here we need to add one more condition. Before we set the ghost effect to zero, we must check the bonus has not been used yet. Now I don't want the bonus used to be shown here, so I'll uncheck this. Now let's try this.